Okay, people who have Scratch. Yeah, sorry about that. I thought you guys are other people. Well, um, so today I'm going to teach you how to make WireWare micro games on Scratch. Yep, this is the the micro game tutorial. So, uh, if you didn't know, I started to work on the script already. If you haven't known, here you go how to do the part. First, you make sure you could have to replace the name with current micro game. Okay, so to do this, you gotta remove this and replace it with the current micro game. Okay, then, then, you, then you start it. Okay, so, well, so now you put the micro game on top of the next micro game to to alert, which is how you're doing. Then. I'm gonna break this all apart. Okay, I broke it apart. We don't need that. Anyways, so first you gotta pretend you're defined current by your game, then, then, put if blank, then add, then you add marker game is equal to number. The way to do that is to type random number, well, sorry, one, then. Play and put it there. Then you put the progress where your number is. Okay, then now let's make something called commands. Commands are the, the alerts that will happen if your have if the new marker game has shown up. To do this, you've got to get a font. I'm going to do the WireWare font. So, what you need to do is go to your favorite web page. I like Google the most. Okay, so if you want the WireWare font, go to the Spriter's resource. Then you go to Game Boy Advance W Wireware Inc. Mega Micro Games. Go to Font. And then, if you are a Windows user, click, I mean, right click, and it's save image, or you can just copy the image. But if you're a Mac user, you can just uh, click on there and drag it and and release, but um, it says I already have the font. I'm not going to do that. So once you have your font, go to your commands, click on upload costume, and try to find the 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 font you did. The num the code name is one seven eight eight p n g. Now once you got that, you got you gotta zoom up. See, it works very perfectly. Without the hassle, we should get started. So you can make your first ever command. So you can name it what you like. Okay, so I'm gonna name my first murder game button. This will be the example micro game. More will come out soon. Anyways, if you're fine, find the letters that spell will spell your command. Command. So right. So next, you we need the letter I for click. Okay. 
And then... I don't do it. Anyways, next comes... Another C, but more case. <clears throat> then the letter K. Okay. And finally, to follow it all off, always use the exclamation point. Hmm. Yeah, but some of you found some several glitches when trying to abuse fact green hat as vector. To be particular honest, sometimes when you try to do that, every time you click back, it will actually appear as this. To avoid that, you got to move. Move it before it's too late. And then you can do it. And then you did it. Your first ever micro game. Okay, then let's click. Click the appropriate name. Alright, so uh, when I receive. Okay, so continue to click. And then you click hide. But then if you don't want glitches, you can click bin hap. So can the quality appears better. Okay, so <clears throat> okay. Next, you need the micro game background. Okay, so micro game one. Okay, so next we need to construct the micro game. So this needs to be more quick, or so I'm gonna make this quick. Okay, so button. Okay, so when I receive click, when I receive so when I receive the micro game, you the objective is to click the button. So when I receive the so forever, with this, if I'm touching the mouse pointer, it will turn orange, but if not, then it turns blue. If clicked, then it will show. But first, we need to make the win go to zero. And then we will have the no. win change the win to one. Set the win to one. Oh wait, I meant the win. Okay, so next comes the remove the hides of something. Alright. After that we'll have some time. Score. But all right, so now let's go. All right, so let's make it up to the front layer. Okay, now we need to dig something. We're going to make a bomb. So, what a bomb in WarioWare, what a bomb does will subtract the time limits of of a micro game. And, but when it reaches zero, it'll be game over then. So now, so you ought to be very careful with these 
these could go for like maximum of eight to only one second before it explodes. So yeah, so we're gonna I'm gonna do a quick, quick construction. Just pause the video if you're ready to, to go but to construct your bomb. But if you're done already, you can move on to the next step. So since you got your bomb all finished up, I'm not as finished yet, but I'm going to do the code. So now what you're going to do, you can also use twisted. The make my keys make a party keys and twisted, but you have to get the twisted one. Others may have can't be found. So All right, now you can just set the bomb to four. All right. Okay, so next you can do your little tic tac. This is trying to find a scratch. <clears throat> so I have this somewhere. So yeah. So there's a lot of stuff here. So we we'll wait for a while. Uh, now we got the last time thingies. Now. What we want to do is put three, and then that will be the result. So, all right. But before we got the final bomb, we all have to make a final script. Every time, do right, result, hide. It's simple. Anyways, boop. Okay, so that's what happened. Oh yeah, I forgot to remove that. Anyways, let's try. So you to not click it again, it will hide. Now time for music. So you can just use it as the I'm gonna make my own music. So Check that. But you will have to show your lives and your score too. So it'll be like this now. After you make your own user or borrow some music from where <laughs> Scheme over as well. So now I'm gonna see you soon. We're gonna do the speed ups. See you soon, everybody. Bye. So, this is what your scripts should be right now. <laughs>